Well, he's terribly funny. He's got an outrageous sense of humor. He's very insightful. With over $2 billion in real estate transactions under his belt, Denver native Don Quartz has contributed to the expansion, contraction, and relocation of thousands throughout the region. But his most valuable asset is his remarkable ability to bring the community together and have a great time doing it. And I was born and raised in Denver. I have been in Denver my entire life. Don was a prize fighter. Don was a boxer. A champion boxer. After attending DU Law School, Don went into the Army and was stationed over in Germany. He had a, a remarkable military career. The one phone was a direct line to the officers club and they would call him if happy hour ever started early. Upon returning to Denver, he joined a small law firm. And the company that we represented was Fuller & Company, which is a commercial real estate company. Uh, I was offered the position to come in and be general counsel and then eventually became president, CEO, and now chairman. To watch a company grow uh, over a 40-year period and into a really expansive, powerful company has been very, very rewarding to me. He not only brings out the best in himself in every situation, but he also brings out the best in everyone else around him. I don't know anyone who is more loved and respected in this house and in the community. The highlight of highlights was having Don as the chair of the chamber. Everybody loved him. The staff loved him. Everything he does, he does with enthusiasm and grace. As he was sitting in that really august position at the Denver Chamber on the board and as chairman of it, um, I also could see him sneak off with the staff on some of the trips and just go party with them. I mean, Don has a great love of people. He loves to be around them. He loves to play with them. He has a very deep attachment to Rose. I took a leave of absence uh, from Fuller uh, to start the Rose Community Foundation. Don had a vision, and his vision was that we needed to take calculated risks, that we couldn't just be comfortable with the status quo. When Brian Breezy first moved to Denver, brought with him an idea of creating what is today known as Judy's House. He went to Don Courts because Don has the ability to bring together the right people. And Brian Greasy's effort, his dream of Judy's House is a success today. Don also spearheaded the search for a new president of Children's Hospital. The selection of that leadership was one of the most critical moves. There's um, one drawing in his office from a little girl at Children's Hospital. And I think those are the kind of things that really show what he does and that those kind of things that come from the heart are more important. We were very honored to have Don Quartz as the Humanitarian of the Year Award uh, at the Meisel Museum. And he certainly was deserving for the community activities and what he does to make this a better place to live. He is one of the finest family men that I've ever met. There's never been a moment where he hasn't been there for me. He's a businessman, but for me, it seems like his number one job has always been a dad. So he doesn't have to have stardom to be famous. He just innately lives his life and he becomes our star. You are a great contribution to our city, our state, and our country. God bless you.